Night Saber 1000 here. I got my Master Mechanic. Monkey 1000. Yeah, don't forget to check her channel out. So, today, we're, just a quick fix, and we have a very interesting story Sorry. for you. Uh, we're going to put a new prop on. This ain't the new one. This is the old one. Uh, it couldn't be fixed, so um, we just went ahead and got a new one. Uh, we got a new one. It was, what was it, 60 bucks? Yes. And I was going to get this new cone, this new nut, but hell, it was $45. And I'm like, uh, I don't really need it at this moment. Maybe. I'd like to put one on it, but I'm not paying $45 for it. They, he said that they discontinued these, but I found, what, five of them online. Yeah, and they're cheaper. Brand new. for like bucks. Anywhere from 12 to 20, so I'll just get one online. It's no big deal. It's a work for now. So let's go ahead and get this opened up, and uh, we'll tell you a story after we get done with this. This is just a quick fix, so hang tight. Okay, as always, the first thing you want to do is open it up. Any new part you get, check it with your old one. Make sure everything is the way it should be. And there is the brand new one. Oh, shiny. Shiny. Pretty. That's going to look so nice when the boat's all painted. <laughs> so here's the old one. Yeah, it, it needed a new one. Michigan. Oh yeah? Yeah. So, oh. Looks like that's going to be the one. Because I know for this this particular motor, they made three, three sizes of these. And, uh, you know, I wanted to stay with that's with this size because it did well you know because if you go bigger you get more speed less power you go smaller you get more power and less speed so i wanted to stay with this size because it was just right it was a perfect medium we had decent speed and we had plenty of power for going up the rivers so what we're going to do is i got my pin here and i'm going to move you over here let's point you down on this like I said, just a quick fix. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn that a little bit so this does not slide out and fall out, because it will. All right, now, check that, make sure that seal's not leaking. Now we're gonna put this on, this is just gonna slide on, and there's this little notch right here, that's what your pin goes in. And when these things spin out, this actually spins inside of here. It's mounted in rubber. So. Make sure that's on there. Feels like it. There it is. All right. Now, I'm just going to put our nut on, tighten it up. They call it a cone. And why do they call it a cone? Because it looks like a cone. It's okay. cone shaped. Okay. I'm not being a smart ass hun, that's really why they call it that. Well, isn't that a nut a nut? No, shaped like a cone. So that should be it right there. I mean I may not even have to tighten that. No? No. Nope. Looks pretty on there. Yeah. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take our cotter pin. A lot of guys call these cotter keys. It's not really a key. It's a pin. 
Okay, good. All right. And just bend that pin over. Because if you ever tighten these, it's just plastic. If you ever tighten it, you'll strip it. And so that's all that's all it needs right there. So good deal. We can go test it out. Yeah, if you wanted we could. Yeah. So there you go. Maybe we should. A little bit in play in that lower unit there. And what causes that? Where? Uh, it's, a, it's 1964. <laughs> this thing has spun a time or two. Right. <laughs> and the guy agreed with me. Uh, we believe this to be the original prop. So, I mean, I'm going to hang on to it. You can see down in there where I used that contact cement. That wor It worked for a long time. Mm, I'm surprised. But they send them off is what they do. And if they can rebuild them cheaper, they'll rebuild them. And really all that is is just putting a new piece of rubber in here and they press in. But what they do first is they x-ray it and they can see cracks that we can't see inside of here so they said it'd be best plus it's got that which this can be fixed they can fill that in with weld and fix it and all that but for the time and stuff it's best just to get a new one so and like i said the new one was 60 bucks so um yeah so all right let's get you up here and we'll tell you a little story okay guys so here's the story <laughs> that prop mm. week before last we dropped it off on a wednesday and he says you know the prop guy's coming tomorrow the prop people's coming tomorrow which was on a thursday and he says i said well i just want i want to know how much it is before you know because if it was going to be two or three hundred bucks I wasn't going to do it because i can get a new one online for 90. so <laughs> so he's like all right i'll call you friday well he never called on friday he never called on Saturday. Of course, they're closed Sunday. He didn't call on Monday. And he didn't call on Tuesday. Mm -mm. So last Wednesday, she calls him. And says, oh, I, I'm so sorry, but my partner passed away yesterday, which was on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Right. He walked in, found him in the shop. <laughs> Dead. On the ground. Dead on the floor. So... She's like, all right, he, he wasn't at the shop. He's never at the shop. He didn't know how much it was. I said, look, you know, she's like, look, we just want to know how much it is, you know. And He couldn't tell me. Yeah, so she called him back today, which today's Monday, the following Monday of last week. And he was, uh, you know, he says, yeah, it's in. I'm at the shop. I'll give you a price. And. And he gave us a price of 117 for the nut and, and the, the prop. prop. So I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. Let's go get it. So we go down and we get to talking to this guy. You know, we pay for it and everything and all that. And I told him, look, I ain't going to pay $45 for a nut, whatever. So he charged it. It was 61 something. He said, just make it 60 So we give him 60 bucks, you know. And so we get to talking to him and say, you know, sorry about your loss, man. So he's telling us a story about this guy. He's worked for him for what, 13 years? Yeah. This guy was 60 years old. He worked for him for 13 years and the guy never did tell him where he lived. No. He asked him one time, he's like, so, so where you live? And he kind of looked at him and said, well, does that really matter? And he said, well, no, it don't matter to me. If you don't want to tell me, you know, just forget I ask, you know. So he never did know where he lived. Mm -mm. It was kind of an eccentric. He said he worked there for, what, four to five years before he would even talk to a customer. Yeah. So he, just a little eccentric. Finally, he said over the past few years, he got to talking. And now, you know, he talked to the customers, which we've met him. I've talked to him a couple times. We handed the, the man the prop. Yeah, he when was the one. In. And I bought some gear lube mm -hmm. for the boat off the guy. Mm -hmm. So, really nice guy. So this guy got to talking, you know, and he says, yeah, he says, but you won't be seeing him no more. He, he's gone. He said, right there where you're standing. Yeah, that's where they found the body. I'm getting chills. That's yeah. where they, right there. They don't know what happened. They know it wasn't foul play, of course, but they don't know if it was heart attack or, or what, but the They're, guy... 
the guy had been sick for a long time. He, he said, didn't take so. care of himself. Yeah, he didn't take care of himself. Never, never seen a doctor in his life. So they're not sure what happened, but they know one foul play. But he, he said, right there where you're standing, that's where, that's where I found him. Here's the interesting part. She said, well, you know, she said, maybe, maybe you've got a haunting building here. And he said, his eyes got big and he said, yeah, and he's not the first one. Right. And I said, oh, really? She goes, yeah, he's in, he's in the paranormal. And he looked at me and he said, yeah. He said, another guy right out front there died. And we, we just started talking and a freaking customer came in. Mm -hmm. This guy was ready to talk. Yeah, man. he would have told us the whole story. I think. I've, I've never investigated. never came. I've in. never investigated a boat shop, a <laughs> marina tech place. Yeah. This would be cool. So, mm. I do need a thermostat for that. Cheap part. So I can order one online for like ten or twelve bucks. But what I want to do is go down when I know he's not going to be busy sometime. Yeah. I'll take it in and ask him, you know, well, what's these run and blah, blah, blah. I just start talking to him and then I'm going to start asking him questions. Maybe, maybe we can get a paranormal thing out of this guy, hopefully. I, I think we could once yeah. we get to talking to him more and knowing him better. Well, we could go out front and yeah. they can't do nothing to us being out front, can they? No, but I wouldn't do it without permission. No, no, I'd ask him for But... Me. You know, I mean, I think that would be really cool. I but just, as soon as she said haunting, his eyes got big and yeah. he said, well, he's not the first one. Yeah. I said, oh, really? And he seems very upset that this man died in his shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I got a feeling that basically the older man was um, basically running the whole place pretty much all the time. And this guy could go and do whatever he yeah. wanted. He acts like he doesn't even want to do anything with this business at all. For no. whatever reason, maybe it has something to do with the paranormal. I don't know. And he's hardly ever there. Yeah, yeah. And there's a reason for it. So I don't know. He was, he was getting ready to start talking. Because yeah. we said, oh, okay, sorry about it. And we, we was going to leave, get ready to leave. And he was like, oh, well, okay, bye, guy. Like, he didn't want us to go. Like, yeah. he was itching to tell us more. Right, know? right, right. Because so. she told him, well, he's into the paranormal stuff. Yeah. So um, I figure this, I can get, at least get a good story, a couple good stories out of this guy, you know. Because I'm pretty sure the way his eyes got big, you know, when somebody talks about something, tragic that has happened to them or something that has scared them in the past their eyes get big and they just kind of cringe when they're telling the story right and he was like he he's not the first one another guy right out front here right over there he said so you know i don't know if it was a guy that worked there or i think he said did he say the guy before me and that's why he was hi hiring this guy that just passed away because the other guy had passed away so mm -hmm. I don't know, this guy, it's just like he don't want to be there, he, you know. Yeah, and, he doesn't like the idea of this man. And she, yeah, because mm -hmm. she said, he well, was not happy. yeah, because he was standing up, man, he's getting ready to sit down, and she said, well, we handed him the prop, and he was sitting right there, and he stood back up, because <laughs> it was the chair, this, this yeah, guy he was, was sitting. Yeah, he sat in that chair that, yeah, yeah. And, and we oh, handed the prop, but we were only in there a few minutes. Yeah. And the guy, you know, signed, filled out the thing, and he said, well, I'll give you a call on Friday on the price. And we said, okay, fine. Well, I never heard from him, and I worked all day Friday, so I couldn't call him. And of course, the weekend. And that place is iffy anyways. It's half open when it wants to be. It's closed yeah. when it wants to be. No no time. Good prices. You know. Yeah, but... And, and the guy that passed away knew his shit. Yeah, he knew what he... Yeah, he knew his stuff. Yeah. He knew his stuff, so... Yeah, um, but, so... So I think he kept it running. But there's some reason why this guy don't want to be there. You know? Right, right. Um, and I got a feeling that now it, it could end up closed completely. Because um, I said, because I say, yeah. you know, you, you probably got stuff going on here. He was like, oh yeah, yeah. So it, it, there's shit going on there, and I, I know he wanted to talk more. Um, probably should just well let this guy go, you know, because we was into a conversation. We'll go ahead and take care of him, and then, but what we'll do is we'll stop down there, mm -hmm. maybe Wednesday, mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. and I'll take the uh, the thermostat in. And, mm -hmm just get to talking to him so anyway you know tell me some stuff because <laughs> that's how you get into it you know and he's just he, you can tell he's wanting to talk to somebody about this stuff but he's probably afraid people don't 
won't believe him or think he's crazy but when she said he's into the paranormal stuff he's like you know he got all excited like finally someone that'll believe me you know never kind, know he may call us thing. he's got my number yeah he never know maybe he, he he might you know he might say well you guys said you're into paranormal yeah you know so anyway cool story but the boat's ready to go yeah the boat's, and i'm ready to go boating she's ready to go boating we got all the paint and the sealer and all that stuff but, but it rained yeah and it's supposed to rain all week so i know it's it's sun shining now but it was pouring down rain this morning all day but it's supposed to do that all week and i want at least two to three good days where I yeah. know i'm not gonna get rain well we gotta let so. that sealer seal for 24 Look, yeah, hours and you don't even if you got it covered up and it's raining the humidity and stuff will affect it so, so we're gonna so. have to wait so anyway, yeah, maybe we'll get it out. But uh, at least we got weekend. the paint, paint anyway. So yeah, we good. white and blue. We went with the sapphire blue, so mm -hmm. which is a common, common blue. But it'll look pretty. But it'll look boat. nice on there. It'll match the uh, top pretty well. So mm -hmm. it should look pretty good once it's you know for right. for sixty nine. I mean, damn right. thing's fifty two years old. Fifty three this year. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and and the, the motor's older now. I think the motor's a '63 or '64. So there you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Just a quick fix. I know the story was longer, but I thought you'd be interested in that, or at I least my interested. paranormal people. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure she'll uh, do a video on the story on her channel. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, because I got to finish my other thing today. Okay. But so check her out, Monkey One Thousand, and. Uh, Dean Moo, BXX32, check them out. Great guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Mike says, for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good week.